Rage on that beat, going crazy. What's up you guys welcome back to the channel we just ran into the first problem i went ahead and i put some coolant in there and it all leaked out i'm not sure if there's a crack underneath or what's going on but we're gonna have to move that uh remove that radiator i'm also putting oil into the transmission as we speak it's going in there slowly the engine has the oil already and i'm gonna go ahead and remove this radiator and we're gonna swap it out for the other one that we have. Radiator is out. And we have a nice little hole right here. So we have everything pretty much buttoned up. I have this filled up with water. So you can see it's not leaking from down here or anything. I have a rag just in case it, it overflows when I turn it on. But we are gonna let the bubbles come out of this. So we are gonna burp the system. Um, battery is in. We have oil in the transmission. We have oil in the engine. And I believe everything's ready to go. I'm ready for my first start right now. Hope everything goes well. Fingers crossed. Let's do this. I'm gonna let my fuel pump prime and then I'll go ahead and crank it over. I'm gonna do this three times. This is my first. Second, one more time, third time, I'm going to start it.
an idle issue with the uh, intake manifold. I'm not sure yet, but we might have uh, an air problem right here where it's receiving air. We might have to tighten the bolts a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and diagnose it and then we'll continue with this. I'm recording with my phone now because my camera started acting up on me. So I went ahead and I took a look at the car and I found out that the throttle cable was getting stuck. I'm still trying to bleed the system out. I also noticed that I have a check engine light on, which I was expecting because of the O2 sensors. And we have no leaks. This is the old leak from the other radiator that was busted. Let me show you guys the hole since I can walk around with this camera, with this phone. Right there. That's where it got busted. And it leaked all over, but that's been taken care of now. And yeah, it looks like... Ooh, that's hot. It's looking good. So we're gonna have to buy up everything, everything later on. But we'll go ahead and do that. We'll shoot the timing and hook everything else up that we need to. So I got the camera to start recording again. I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys on a quick time lapse so I could clean up this whole garage because it is pretty messy. I have tools all over the place. And I am gonna pull the car out to a spot over there. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and wash this floor probably scrub it down i did pick up one of these bottles of octane booster that i am going to go and put in there because i don't know what kind of uh fuel they pumped into this vehicle before i bought it so we're going to at least try to bump this up to 92 or 93 and hopefully there's 92 or 93 in there already it bumps it up a little bit more but just to be safe i'm gonna go ahead and put this in there before we connect our charge pipes and everything for the turbo
going to be it for this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And go ahead and put down below hashtag Barbell's Life so I can know who the real supporters are, the real people that are actually watching my, my videos. So go down below, hashtag Barbell's Life. And yeah, um, like I said, the next few videos are going to be pretty cool, pretty interesting. We're going to button everything up. And this car will be pretty soon ready to go out and hit the streets. So pretty soon we'll have some really good content. Hopefully in the next 30 days, this car's in the streets. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.